Have you ever wondered how much it costs to raise pet ducks? Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down for you exactly how much I spent this year to raise my nine miniature pet ducks. To make this as simple as possible for you all to understand, I've broken it down into seven categories. Food, water, treats and supplements, medical bills, bedding, security cameras, and everything else is in the miscellaneous category. Number one, we have food. Currently, I feed my ducks Missouri Waterfowl Maintenance Feed, which right now costs $50 for a 50 pound bag, which is up from earlier in the year when it was $47. And last year, it actually was $41 and then $43. So the cost of duck food is definitely increasing. This year, I also purchased ducklings. So I had to buy a 25 pound bag of Missouri Waterfowl Starter Feed, which was $26, and a bag of oats, which was $27. My ducks have 24 7 access to food and between all nine of them they still only eat about an average of one pound of food per day which is almost nothing compared to what they would be eating if they were full-size ducks but luckily mine are miniature so i spent a total of 288 dollars on the adult duck food and 53 dollars on the duckling food for a grand total of 341 dollars spent on duck food this year and number two is water. Now ducks are obviously waterfowl, so they consume a ton of water, especially in their pools. My pool is over a hundred gallons, so it does take a lot of water to fill. Now, lucky for me, I'm on a well, so we don't actually pay for water. So our water bills were zero dollars this year, as long as you don't include the ice water that Munchkin gets when she goes to Duncan. But if you are living somewhere where you pay for water by the gallon, I would definitely look into how much that's gonna cost you per year because they go through water like crazy. And number, number three is treats and supplements. supplements. So, so I got to eat a huge variety of different, different kinds of treats throughout the year. Some, Some of those treats you can also consider supplements, supplements because during times like molting season, season when they need extra protein, you can give, give them stuff like, like mealworms and black soldier fly larvae to up their protein intake. And even though it's considered a treat, it actually does supplement their diet. But between mealworms, black soldier fly larvae, other duck treats, and live bait that I feed my ducks, that cost a total of $86 this year. And I also spent $23 on oyster shells, which is a calcium supplement for when they're laying eggs. Which brings my grand total to $109 for treats and supplements this year. And number four is bedding. This year I experimented with a lot of different types of bedding because I wanted to find what was best and worked the best for our flock. So this year I used pine pellets, pine shavings, chop straw, straw bales, and hemp bedding. The cheapest bedding I used was the pine shavings, which are about $6 a bag, and the most expensive bedding I used was the hemp bedding, which is $25 a bag. Ultimately, I decided that the best bedding for me and my flock was hemp bedding. It's very absorbent, it's not very dusty, and it really keeps the odor down, and it lasts longer than anything else I tried, so I'm a really big fan of it, even though it is more expensive than the other types of bedding that I tried. In the winter time, I'm also going to continue using straw bales because the ducks can hop up onto them and just keep their feet up off the ground when it's cold. Lucky for you guys, I have an Eaton Pet and Pasture affiliate, which means that you guys can save 20% off on your first purchase of a bag of hemp bedding from their website. Just use code Duncan Ducks. But ultimately, throughout all of my experiments, the total amount I spent on bedding this year was $358. And on to number five, we have medical bills. Now, obviously, medical bill price varies a lot year to year. This year was a little pricier than last year, but who knows what it could be next year. We have a grand total of five trips to the vet this year. The first one was just to get paperwork for Munchkin to travel out of state. I believe the second trip was when Toast and Hash Brown were finally old enough to go to the vet for their first appointment. So they essentially just went to start a record for them and also so they could get a fecal exam before they were introduced to the rest of the flock. Munchkin appeared to be having some trouble laying an egg one day, so I obviously freaked out, rushed her to the vet, and ultimately she was fine. She ended up laying the egg in the car on the ride home, but that was our priciest appointment at $215. I also brought Maple into the vet to check in on his limping situation, which is pretty much just because he's an old man and there's not too much we can do but give him some vitamin supplements. And then I also brought him in a few weeks later so we could recheck up on that and see his progress. And that brings us to a grand total of $555 for medical bills for the ducks this year. And number six is our security camera. So this year I purchased security cameras for the ducks. So not only that I can keep an eye on them, but also so I can keep an eye on all of the predators in our area at night that frequent around where my ducks sleep. The cost to actually purchase the cameras was $300. I believe they were on sale on Amazon when I got them. And then I also pay a $10 a month or subscription fee. So I have access to the cameras all the time and I can play back the footage and it saves and everything. And I only had that for the last five months. So that cost me $50. And that brings our grand total to $350 for the security cameras. And then we have our miscellaneous category, which is pretty much just everything else that doesn't really fit into a category of its own. And I'm just gonna tell you some of the major purchases that were on that list. First, I had to replenish some of the things in my vet kit, which includes Prid drawing salve, activated charcoal, iodine, 
Rooster Booster, and Electrolytes. I also needed to buy a new pitchfork this year, which was $22. I had to buy a brooder for the ducklings that I got, which was $50. And I also spent $32 on a bag of First Saturday Lime. First Saturday Lime helps repel odor, insects, and it keeps moisture out of the coop. It is all around one of my favorite products that I use with my ducks. And I am also an affiliate with First Saturday Lime. So if you want to save $2 off your first bag, you can use code Duncan Ducks on their website. Our duck's pool did spring a very slow leak this year. So even though I could have continued to use it, I ultimately decided to buy them a new one which was also bigger and they are very happy in that one and that cost $70. Unfortunately a lot of the pea pebbles kind of washed out after the winter time in my coop so I did have to replenish those which was a pretty hefty cost of $260 but I really like the pea pebbles because they're safe for my duck's feet and they also make it super super easy to clean out the pen because I can literally just hose it off and you wouldn't even know that there were ducks in there pooping everywhere. And then some minor things that were in the miscellaneous category is just leg bands for the new ducklings, a pool skimmer, a new chick waterer, and fake eggs to encourage my ducks to lay their eggs in the correct spot. All of that brings our total in the miscellaneous category to $626. But before I tell you guys the grand total, I just want to note here that the amount of money you spend on raising pet ducks can vary a lot. My ducks are miniature, so they don't eat as much food, but I also feed them a high quality food that costs a bit more. You never know when your pool is going to break or you're going to need a new pond filter if you have an in-ground pond. A lot of things can go wrong when you're raising pet ducks that can raise the price. Plus, this year I already had their pen and their coop, so I didn't have that initial expense that you would when you're just starting out. But with that being said, the grand total this year that I spent on raising my nine pet ducks was $2,339. If you also raise pet ducks and keep track of your expenses, please feel free to let me know in the comments how many ducks you have and what you spend on them because maybe it'll help someone out who's just starting to think about getting pet ducks so they can be prepared for what it might cost. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it and I hope you guys have an absolutely quacktastic day.